Hello there. My name is Ron, and welcome to the Jedi Playbook Podcast. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, and it's time. It, it We're long overdue. So, uh, first of all, welcome. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. If you have uh, been among the people who has commented, DM'd, and otherwise contacted me, um, we appreciate the support. I, I always appreciate the engagement, and uh, I the past couple of weeks have been tumultuous to say the least, but now that um, I have some updates and news that I will share and it will all it will all become apparent very soon. So um, without further ado, updates, news. As you no doubt have seen on the Instagram, I have just uh, accepted an ambassadorship with the Jedi Fitness Academy. His name is Tom. He trains uh, people to essentially let go of everything you fear to lose. It is comprehensive fitness and lifestyle training, mindset, positivity, nutrition. And I have to say, I have never been in better shape. Um, It has been absolutely extraordinary. The results that I've seen are extraordinary just because of how strict and regimented it's been. I'm tracking my weight every morning. Um, I'm getting up and um, stretching and meditating, working out four times a week. Yeah, four. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, had to think about that for a second. Uh, But he makes it very easy. It's all in this app that tracks your progress. You put in, um, he devises a workout, and then you put in the weights or the reps or whatever you're doing, depending on what equipment you have access to. Um, you know, it's really customized and personalized to to what your goals are. That goes for the workout and the nutrition as well. And uh, I hope to only add to that with the content that we will be doing on Jedi Playbook on my Instagram here, and as well as supplementing with this podcast. So I will uh, interview Tom. I hope uh, he will have time. I don't know. uh, Given the response we had from from this first post that, you know, we're accepting, he's accepting clients and uh, five people to coach and train. Um, the, The turnout has been absolutely extraordinary. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he will have time to sit down for an interview for a little podcast so that we can both kind of talk about our goals and and what people are really going to get. I can talk about my experience with him coaching me and he can talk about more about where his expertise is and his journey as well. He he's had a fascinating journey. He is actually um a veteran if I'm not mistaken. But um yeah. It it it's going to be fantastic. I will be starting a new Jedi challenge again. Jedi lifestyle challenge that I will be posting daily about. Uh, I will track my progress through the app as well as here on the podcast. Um, And hopefully this will be a way that people can take on the challenge themselves. If they are getting coached by uh, Jedi Fitness Academy, that would be great because it just helps to reinforce this discipline and this lifestyle because it it really has done wonders. I was... um, at my worst, I, I've talked about my struggle with health health issues before. Uh, I was 50 pounds underweight, um, absolutely miserable. I had no healthy habits, did not have a healthy daily routine, and my health was suffering. Just my mental health, my physical health, I was very frail. I would get winded walking up a flight of stairs. It was really awful. Um, and so ha- committing to these changes has been a challenge, obviously, but it has also been incredibly beneficial. And even in the few, the short amount of time that I've been working with Tom and, and being coached by Tom, it's been absolutely spectacular. And, and the results really do speak for themselves. So um, I hope you will consider taking on the Jedi Lifestyle Challenge. Uh, if the spots aren't filled up already and there is available spots, I do hope you will consider uh, being coached by Jedi Fitness Academy. It really is worth every penny just because the accountability, the guidance, um, 
you yeah there is no questioning you can do this all on your own i'm not arguing that you can't all i'm saying is when you have someone who is advocating for this lifestyle for your health for your wellness and making sure that your discipline is in line and your your habits are in line with the goals you want to achieve it's it, it's invaluable that kind of help and guidance is absolutely invaluable so um, I will continue to explain more about my experience with them. Uh, there are weekly check-ins, which are good. You know, you are expected to send uh, photos of your front, back, and side view to see your progress. Um, tracking weight, tracking steps every day, tracking your general movement. Your phone can do that. If you have a, a smartwatch or a Fitbit or anything like that, that'll help. Um, but this is really good for me because, as I mentioned in the post I, I made about this, I consider myself a counselor, not as much a physically oriented guardian, but that just means I need to put even more focus in on my, my physical wellness and my fitness because there's a reason Obi-Wan and Anakin and, and Qui-Gon and all our favorite Jedi uh, are in incredible shape. They are in incredible physical shape to keep up with the demands of what it takes to be a Jedi. And going through life is no different. If you're in good physical shape, life is a hell of a lot easier when you're not, you know, fighting for your health as well as just dealing with the stresses of, of everyday life. So... I'm going to keep these short. I'm going to keep them brief little updates, the interviews and stuff. Um, we're going to go for about a half hour. What are we at right now? I am at six minutes. That's good. So for the last, I don't know, nine or ten minutes, I really wanted to address um, and reinforce something that I haven't covered on the Instagram in a while, and that is the three pillars of the Jedi. The three pillars are the force, knowledge, and self-discipline. And I had a bit of a rough time. I was going through rough times. You know, it, it, it's, I want to keep this as general as possible because everyone faces challenges. We all face adversity. So rather than give you something specific as to what I was dealing with, nothing ever goes, you know, 100% the way we want it to. So part of the balance and part of our duty as Jedi is to find our own balance and deal with things that are beyond our control. And the one thing we can control is ourselves and our reactions to things. And I don't think I put enough emphasis on the pillar of self-discipline when I first talked about it many, many months ago. Um, but now I believe I should. Um, and I really want to reiterate that self-discipline is in the book. They, they talk about, um, actually, I'm going to turn to it right here because it's a great passage. It is a passage by the Jedi battle master. Many of you initiates are all too eager to rush into this field of knowledge for this is where you get to swing a lightsaber, but it is called the third pillar for a reason. Until you have demonstrated your connection to the Force and your willingness to study and learn, you will never be admitted into my class. He was a, he was a hard ass a little bit, I have to say. For those who have passed the test, you will do well to remember that the, this pillar is self-discipline, not combat. It is impossible to wield a lightsaber without first mastering the action of your physical self. This is why we give initiates training sabers. By the time you build a real blade as a Padawan, you should have enough skill not to cut off your own arm. All right. Yeah, and then he goes on to say, meditation is the key to aligning your mind and body with the spirit and will of the force. It's It really does all kind of come together. The, the Each element of the three pillars is important because you need to learn about the workout and the nutrition that you're going to be doing for this training so that you understand it right? You need to be open and willing to learn. You need to have the discipline to stick with the routine and the discipline to control your actions. I, my biggest thing, my biggest weakness is sweets. I love baked goods, bread. 
I, I'm supposed to be gluten free. I, I can't really have gluten. And it is really difficult when there's a fresh piece of crusty bread that's like, you know, slathered in really good butter staring at me. I have a really hard time resisting that. I have a really hard time when cookies are staring me in the face or, you know, pastries. It's tough. I, I love food. I come from Italian, an Italian uh, family. My, my grandparents were Sicilian. So food is, is just intrinsically just very important culturally. Um, and that's where I need even more reinforcement with the discipline. So my little trick is I try not to even look at the pastries and stuff. I'll skip the, the dessert aisles in, in the bakery aisle in the market. Um, I will not keep things that will tempt me in the house and try not to to have any of that. I've tried to eliminate uh, refined sugar. So if I sweeten something, it'll be maple syrup or honey. Um, yeah, just making healthier choices. And I try not to have any processed foods. So yeah, this is this is a struggle for me. Like it's a, it's a never ending quest for for wellness, but I'm doing a lot better than I was. And I honestly, the, the, the kind of the page turned and the leaf turned and all these things started to click when I did the first Jedi challenge for 30 days in at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of 2021. And um, I owe a lot to, you know, just the Jedi mentality and, and Star Wars for giving me the context to explore my spirituality. And I think that's what uh, a lot of people are missing. So yeah, just having faith that if you are struggling and you are facing tough times, that tomorrow will be a better day. Having faith that everything happens for a reason and the force guides us, as it were, toward uh, toward what we need, not necessarily what we want at that time. Um, and that uh, nothing that is meant for us will, will ever pass us by. When, when the time is right for, for things to happen, like it just happened. The, the coaching, it was, you know, he contacted me and asked if, if I would like to be an ambassador. And I said, yes, because his views seem to really uh, align with mine. And um, I think it would be greatly beneficial to anyone who's a Star Wars fan to whom this kind of mindset and, and the context of the spirituality works, that you can explore these concepts. Um, it may not need to be an organized religion, but if you meditate every day and, and you stick to values like commitment, integrity, honor, strength of character, these are all hugely beneficial things. And I, and I don't think it matters who you are, where you come from. These are, these are just universal. So if you've enjoyed this, please do uh, subscribe. Please do follow uh, both of our Instagrams. Um, you can get to it at uh, the Jedi Playbook, at Jedi Playbook on Instagram. I, I do have a Facebook, but I don't really use it, you know. Um, I'm not as active on Facebook. I do post occasionally. And um, I look forward to... Uh, to exploring more of this stuff with you. I, I hope you will consider taking the Jedi challenge. Uh, and I hope you will uh, join us on this path that is unfolding before each of us. And uh, we can share in a unique journey. So thank you. And may the force be with you.